We're here at Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined by Eva Headforce. Hi, Eva. How are you? I'm great. This is the absolute best time of the year, Mobile World Congress. It is. It's a big one for you. Now, you're the head of marketing and communications at Ericsson Digital Services. You've got a lot of big challenges to uh, build up towards this. I understand, talking to some of the team, that essentially the day that you finish last year's event, you tear it down, you start planning for this year. That's right, right. We're right on, like, what are we going to showcase next year and what are we going to you know, really bring to our customers and what are the talking points? It's so a lot of work. the planning for next year has actually already started. Oh, is it? Oh, my goodness. I, I can't but we're going to join this now. We're going to join this. Indeed. Well, in, in light of that, um, maybe just give us a quick summary of, of what you've got on show this year on the pavilion at uh, Mobile World Congress 2019 for folk who are here. I mean, when, when they come into Ericsson and when they, it's, it, they're going to feel like a, a beat. They're going to feel okay. like, you know, there's a pulse towards 5G. And, and then they're going to see it. And there are a few of these really important things that we're taking, uh, talking to our customers about mm -hmm. here at Mobile Congress. It's really the smooth evolutions to 5G right. and how we're taking them through step by step across the radio, the transport, and the core, and mm -hmm. the orchestration and everything around it. And, and that'll be a big topic. The other big topic is, of course, with 5G, how do you simplify your operations and how do you get much more smarter and efficient using data? And then, of course, the big thing is, you know, what does 5G for consumers mean? How mm -hmm. do you get, you know, a great customer experience? How do you understand what type of consumer trends there are? And the same thing goes for industries. Right. How do 5G transform industries? So I would say those are the main topics on the floor today. I remember I had you on your, uh, my podcast uh, recently, and thank you very much for that. Uh, I loved your line when I asked you to tell me all about 5G and uh, you know when it was coming and what it was about. And you said to me that it's here, it's already happened. And I was like, oh, okay. And I guess that's really what you've got to show us this year at yeah. Mobile World Congress 2019, that 5G is here, you're already delivering it. You've got yeah. a number of clients. Uh, we got 10, yep. uh, 10 customers, named customers, yep. that are together with our showcase and that we're in the forefront of 5G. Well, I heard it, uh, from one of your team that you may have uh, something as many as 42 under NDA, mm -hmm. uh, the life of meaning the universe and everything. Exactly. With the 42 of memorandum of understandings and, and trials and talks and, of course, That's a lot of engagement. Yeah. Now, you've had some very big announcements of late, and particularly uh, here at Mobile World Congress. Um, could you maybe just give us some uh, examples of some of the things you've launched uh, this week here at Mobile World Congress 2019? Sure. I, I would say the, the, the biggest one that we have come to market is around our Vault 5G platform because it's really... Right our way to show our end-to-end -end, uh, 5G you know, portfolio mm -hmm. with uh, our 5G ready products yep. and 5G products across the radio, transport, a cloud core, cloud communication, yep. underpinned by a common cloud infrastructure. And then the you know upper layer is where you manage and orchestrate your network. And of course, we're showcasing also how with digital BSS, you're monetizing these 5G mm -hmm. and IoT mm -hmm. cases. And that's really been a big, big launch for us where we're yep. um, uh, a lot of customer feedback on that one really strong momentum whilst taking them on a smooth path to switch on 5g right. and to deploy 5g at scale and now we're launching a lot of addition you know portfolio additions to this platform right well there's been some big ones i, I know i've seen the whole range of things i mean there's been the acquisition cynics yep. uh and I had the lovely uh, uh fernando mendez on my show the other day talking about that which is yep. exciting uh, you've had um, some of the stuff around the dynamic orchestration stuff, the new uh, uh, management service, uh, managed services engine. Mm -hmm. um, for folk who are here this week, uh, what are some of the highlights that the uh, Ericsson uh, Digital Services Group have got to uh, demo and show for them? Uh, what should they come and, and look for? Well, I think, I mean, tying back to, to the launches that we had done is, is really, well, the first one is in the core area yep. where we're, you know, we're launching the dual mode 5D cloud core. Mm -hmm. And really what we're helping our customers with is, you know, 5D is coming like a blast, yep. but it's going to coexist with earlier generations. Right. So we're giving them one one core for 5G, but also to help with the earlier generation. It's going to cause increased efficiency. Yep. Um, and and that's all based on cloud native. So our customers, they're really going to be able to scale up and down their core network depending on the different use cases. Mm -hmm. If it is a mobile broadband use case, or yep. if we're going to see them taking the steps to more network slicing type of use cases and industry use cases. Okay. So that's, that's a big one, I would say, and, and that's going to be showcased across the yep. floor here. Another one is what you were touching upon, uh, the dynamic orchestration and how we have enhanced that yep. with AI and automation, uh, bringing in the Scenics uh, acquisition with the closed loop assurance mm -hmm. to really allow for one orchestration across radio, transport, and core 
regardless if it's a physical network, a virtual, even a cloud-based ne uh, right. network function. Right. And we're also adding to that um, portfolio a real like an ability for our customers to you know test and deploy mm -hmm. new types of services, so they become more web scale like when they're right. testing and deploying new types of services. It really helps them uh, to improve their time to market, and we've seen yep. fantastic examples of that. And we're going to showcase a lot of that. Here. We've seen that in the uh, traditional enterprise space, and I see it now with what you're doing at Ericsson around the telco space with some of the carriers and operators that this fail and fail fast, DevOps, mm -hmm. uh, agile approach to things. Yeah. Once upon a time, there would be like 10, 15 years worth of big sunk costs and rolling out infrastructure to build a, a carrier network. Mm -hmm. These days, it's software to find infrastructure, software to find networks, network function virtualization. So you can, using some of your tools from what I understand, you can build something, test it, run it, build yeah. models, use machine learning to see if it's going to work throw some data you've got at it and monitor data. Uh, the thing that really excites me is the predictive component though, mm. and that is a lot of the break fix we've been used to in the past where things break, people go out in the field to try and fix it with tools. Now you can essentially do real-time modeling, real-time analytics and machine learning and predict those breaks and work around them and whatever. I think that's a big exciting space as well. I mean, absolutely, and I, you know, it's, it's really about just making it so much more simpler for our customers in their operations of the network, yep. that with 5G is just the uh, complexity increases. So we will need to automate a lot more, and we'll mm. need to be much more predictive, as you're saying. Yep. Um, both because of the operational cost of things, but also to allow for our customers to provide their customers with a much better user experience. And at the end, that's yep. what counts, I think. Indeed, well I, well, I love what you're telling me here because it gives me the sense that you've got this whole end-to-end -end capability, which I think all the carriers are looking for, regardless of whether they're in the maturity curve, yep. whether they're an old legacy carrier or whether they're a new disruptor. Mm. Uh, I love this whole agile fail and file fast thing <laughs> now because I come from a developer background, so <laughs> I like running code and testing it and whatever. Yep. Um, but I also like the idea that uh, carriers can come to you and talk to your team for the initial business and consulting side of things. So mm -hmm. when should we talk to you? How early should we be looking at this investment? What sort of ROI can we get from this? Where are we going to spend the money on the right things? Right. I think this is a big shift we're seeing now where you're not just providing infrastructure, not just providing software, you're providing that whole services gamut. That right. must be exciting for some of your business partners. It is, it is. And I, I think they, I would say that's, um, that's also where we start to like the discussion yep. as well, right? Yep. It's really about, you know, orchestrating a service and talking about how the network slice is going to be deployed from all the way from, you know, a VRAN component, but all the way into how you charge and bill for that slice right. based on new SLAs and working our way back to make sure that that slice is adjusted, scaled up and down. Yep where it's placed, uh, if it's close to the edge, close to the application, mm -hmm. if it's back home. And all that discussion will really depend on what type of service you have in the network. And then, you know, we guide and help yep. to work that way in. And at the end of the day, it's all about smooth switch on to either 5G as such or a specific use case. I love it. Well, as a consumer, I like things to be <laughs> nice and easy. Yeah. Well, Eva, it's been absolutely fantastic to catch up with you. Congratulations, an amazing build. Ah, thanks. And it's going to be another fantastic event here at Mobile yeah. World Congress 2019 for Ericsson. And uh, I'm looking forward to going and experiencing myself. You're so welcome. Thank you very much.